first learned subtract, a lot of us probably thought of it as simply taking away. When we illustrate it out on a number line though, instead of thinking it as taking away, we can think of subtracting as telling us to go the opposite direction from which the number indicates. Let's start by illustrating out positive 8 minus positive 5. To do that, we will start at 0, and our positive 8 is telling us we're going to go 8 places to the right since all positive values go to the right. To take away positive 5 then, I need to do the opposite of positive 5, or I need to head back to the left 5 places. When I head back to the left 5 places, I land at positive 3. So positive 8 minus positive 5 gives me positive 3. But what if I want to do that problem in the other order? What if I want to do positive 5 minus positive 8? Well, to do that, I'm going to start at 0. Positive 5 is going to send me 5 places to the right. If I thought of it as taking away, I'm only at 5. I don't have enough places there to take away 8. However, if I think it's subtracting as doing the opposite, I could do the opposite of positive 8. Instead of going 8 places to the right, I can go back 8 places to the left. When I do, that sends me to the negative side of my number line. So positive 5 minus positive 8 leaves me at negative 3. We can follow this same train of thought for subtracting with negatives. Let's try negative 8 minus negative 5. Well, to do that, I'm going to start at 0. Negative 8 is going to send me 8 places to the left. To then take away negative 5, I'm going to wind up going 5 places in the opposite direction, which means I'm going to go 5 places to the right, which lands me at negative 3. So negative 8 minus negative 5 is negative 3. Let's reverse that problem now. What if we do negative 5 minus negative 8? Well, again, I'm going to start at 0. Negative 5 is going to send me 5 places to the left. I want to then take away negative 8, but I don't have enough places to think of it as taking away. Instead, if I think of it as doing the opposite of negative 8, that means instead of going 8 places to the left, I need to move 8 places to the right. When I move 8 places to the right, that lands me at positive 3. So negative 5 minus negative 8 gives me positive 3. But what about when we start mixing positive and negative values in our problem? What will that do to our solution? To find out, let's start by illustrating positive 8 minus negative 5. To do that, we're going to start at 0, and positive 8 is going to send us 8 places to the right. Now we need to take away negative 5. Normally, negative 5 would send us 5 places to the left. But we want to do the opposite of negative 5, which means we're going to have to continue on 5 places to the right. When I continue on 5 places to the right, that sends me to positive 13. So positive 8 minus negative 5 gives me positive 13. Let's look at reversing that problem. Negative 5 minus positive 8. To do that, again, we're going to start at 0, and negative 5 is going to send me 5 places to the left. Now I need to take away positive 8. Well, normally positive 8 would send me back to the right, but I want to do the opposite of that, so I'm going to have to continue on 8 spaces to the left. When I continue on 8 spaces to the left, that leaves me at negative 13. So negative 5 minus positive 8 gives me negative 13. Looking at the number lines and all the problems that we've done, we can see that there's going to be a relationship between addition and subtraction when we work with negatives. We'll explore this more in our algorithm for subtracting with negatives. Let's try a few more examples of subtracting with negatives on a number line. To start with, we have negative 7 minus negative 2. So we're going to start at 0, and negative 7 is going to send me 7 places to the left. We know we need to think of subtracting as telling me now to do the opposite. So since negative 2 would normally tell me to continue on to the left, I'm going to want to do the opposite of that, and I'm going to want to go back two places to the right in order to have the opposite of negative 2. When I go back two places to the right, I land at negative 5. So negative 7 minus negative 2 lands me at negative 5. In our next example, I'm going to start at 0. Positive 3 is going to send me three places to the right. I need to do the opposite of negative 5. Negative 5 would normally send me back to the left, but doing the opposite of that means I'm going to want to go five places to the right. I'm going to land at positive 8. So positive 3 minus negative 5 
is going to land me at positive eight. Positive nine is gonna tell me that I need to go nine places to the right to start with. Now, I want to take away positive six, which means instead of going six places to the right, I'm going to want to take that back six places to the left. When I do the opposite of positive six and go back six places to the left, I land at positive three. So positive nine minus positive six lands me at positive three. In our last example, I'm gonna start at zero. Negative eight tells me that I'm going to go eight places to the left. I need to take away positive two. Positive two would normally tell me that I need to go back to the right, but I want to do the opposite of positive two, which means I'm going to continue on two places to the left. So when I go two more places to the left, that lands me at negative 10. So negative eight minus positive two lands me at negative 10. 